Hey guys, it's Sam, welcome back on my channel. Today's video is gonna be my November favorite, so I will be sharing everything that I've been loving this month. There's not that many things, just because I ordered quite a few things during this for sale and I've been playing with this quite a bit, so I kinda didn't wanna include those because that would be cheating just since I received them like a week ago. Just wanna mention quickly what I'm wearing on my lips. This is the Sephora Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color in Petal Luster. So. I am still loving my Bourjois LT Mix Serum Foundation. I think this is just the perfect everyday foundation for me because it gives me just enough coverage to cover any imperfection that I have while looking super natural and really glowy. And because winter is here now, I need any glowiness I can have. So I highly recommend trying this if you have dry skin. I know they have the other version that isn't serum version that is great for uh, normal to oily skin. I've also been wearing a lot my Tarte Exposed Blush. I'm sure you all know what it looks like, but bam, it looks like a boring blush, basically. But don't worry, it actually looks amazing on cheeks on any skin tone, which is incredible. It looks like nothing in the pan, and even when you swatch it, it looks like a dirty, mauve nude color and it just looks so natural so beautiful in the cheeks it's a matte finish that's what i'm wearing actually today on my cheeks and i just feel like it's so easy to pull off with like any crazy eye makeup or lipstick and it's that time of the year that i always go back to it just because i know that during the holidays i'm gonna wear this non-stop just because it doesn't clash with like red lipstick or even crazy eye makeup so highly recommend trying this no matter what your skin tone is so love this I've been falling back in love with my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I always start wearing it once again during this time of the year just because it's like cool tone, neutral shadows, and I actually did a makeup tutorial using it just because it's my go-to look basically. I just use like YDK all over my lid and then tease and uh, bust it in the outer corner. I just love the finish it gives. This not what I'm wearing today actually, but I highly recommend trying this if you like cool tone shadows. It would not be a favorites video if I didn't mention a ton of lip products. I still want to give a special mention to the Bite lipsticks that I swatched last week because they are amazing. I've been so impressed. I actually didn't expect to like them. Well, not as much. I think they're so worth it. So I'm going to link that video down below because can't really mention them because I've only been wearing them for a week or two. But they're amazing. Another thing that I've been loving so much this month has been to mix my MAC lipstick with my MAC lip liners and I've did quite a few combos and those are my three favorites. The first combo has been MAC Rebel which is a sand finish so it means that it doesn't go full on opaque in one swipe which is perfect to mix it up with lip liners as you can see it's way darker in the tube that on my hands. This is just one swipe so you can build it up to be more opaque but that's not what I used to do. I would just use it with beet lip liner so it's a more reddish tone like burgundy lip liner so as you can tell it's a little bit more reddish so together it did just in the it was just like an amazing burgundy purpley uh, lipstick. I just adore mixing these two. The next combo I loved so much was Flat Out Fabulous, which is a retro matte, which means it's a pain to apply, but it looks amazing on the lips. And this one is like a purpley magenta lipstick. Looks amazing. And I used it with the lip liner in magenta, which is actually way more purple. So together, it was just a beautiful matte purpley shade and just... Once again, looked amazing, obviously, that's why I was wearing it. I just adore these. I will make sure to include pictures. I'm sure I already did that, so I shouldn't say that, but you know. And the last combo is super well known. Obviously, this is the lipstick Velvet Teddy by MAC, and it is a matte finish. So this one is like a brownie nude, especially on my skin tone. I know it looks like light pinky nude or someone, but to me, it's like straight up brown. And I would mix it with Whirl, which is, again, a brownie nude shade. So together... It looked pretty dark on my skin tone. I know it doesn't on uh, most people, but I think it's like a beautiful uh, combo. Adore this, highly recommend trying them. So I've basically been loving mixing colors together and those were my three favorite combos. The next favorite I have is a nail polish. I have been playing a lot with my new uh, nail polishes that you might have seen in my last uh, collective drugstore haul, but one that I didn't mention was this Revlon. This is the 
Nail Heart in Moon Candy. This color is in Moon Dust actually. So you apply the black shade first and then you apply this like glittery white stuff. But when it's on your nail, it actually looks a little bit green, which I don't know, I just felt like it looked amazing. I'll try to include a picture. I just been loving this a lot. I'm actually like not almost out, but I'm like halfway through this. So it means that I've been wearing it a lot. I'm, I'm actually planning on getting more of these because they're so much fun and they're a pain to take off not gonna lie, but they're so worth it. I've been receiving so many compliments on my skin lately and I know it's all because my skincare and especially exfoliating toners, they literally changed my life, which sounds excessive, but I swear it makes a huge difference. Thing is, uh, most of them I can't use because they have gluten in it or uh, aloe, so the Pixi Glow one or the uh, Kodali Chamomile one. These two I know are more affordable than the one that I'm gonna show, but I personally can't use them. But if you can, I highly recommend trying those. But I've been using the Alpha H. This is the liquid gold. And I got this bottle because I couldn't find the uh, P50 that everybody was raving about, but I couldn't get my hands on it. But actually, literally after I purchased this, I found it, so oh well. But I actually prefer this one. This one, uh, does. This one helps exfoliate my skin a lot, but this one makes my skin so glowy it is more uh strong but i actually add a little bit of a reaction to this one but not to this one so oh well i think this one works perfectly to actually like i said give me glowy skin but you can only use it like once or twice a week because it is so strong but like i said didn't have any bad reaction to it but highly recommend trying exfoliating toner because it's all because of this just my skin has been a lot more even and extremely glowy in the beginning of the month, before I started trying the exfoliating toner, I was breaking out like crazy, and I know that's because I haven't been like eating gluten-free, which, you know, it's a pain if you have uh, these issues. But one thing that has been helping me get rid of those breakouts has been the Ren. This is the Clear Calm Acne Treatment Mask. I always go to this mask whenever, like I said, I'm breaking out, especially if they're really inflamed pimples. This will calm them down right away they will literally look flat after you put this on you can sleep with this on the only thing is it does not smell good which i believe is because there's a uh, sulfur in it so it doesn't smell good but extremely good for acne so i highly recommend trying this especially if your skin is like really inflamed this will help a lot a lot a lot a lot the last skincare product i want to mention is the ren number one purity cleansing balm if you've never tried cleansing balm you need to, no matter what your skin type is, even if it's oily, your skin is gonna love this. As you can tell, I've used like a third of it and I just adore this. I know a lot of people love this scent personally. I don't know what's up with me and roses. To me, roses smell like, uh, you know, the insect candles that you have. I'll write the name, I always forget, but that's what it smells like to me, but that's just me apparently. But it works beautifully. It's super moisturizing compared to, I know I finished the, the Body Shop one, the Chamomile, cleansing balm but this one is so much more moisturizing my skin love this it's pretty expensive but it like i said it lasts you a long time i've been using this for like a few months and i'm just like a third of it used up so i highly recommend trying this last favorite i want to mention are eyelashes i've been asked so many times this month what i was wearing and it was the red cherry number 43 i believe i kept mixing it up with like two different ones but that was the one right now i'm wearing the i think those are the Miss Adoro number 42. Like I kept mixing the two, but those ones are way like pointier. So I'm currently wearing the uh, Miss Adoro number 42. I kept mixing the two, but these ones are way more like uh, like pointy than the ones I was wearing. They were more natural looking. So I just actually really like the look that these ones are giving my eyes. <laughs> I do want to give a special mention to this candle right now because it smells amazing. This one is the Marshmallow Fireside and I can't wait to go eat right now, so. <laughs> ah. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this favorite video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done and I will see you in my next video, bye.